What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and listen to some fathering gay. Hope that I'm pronouncing their names correctly. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you're ready to enjoy some music because I'm ready to enjoy some music as well. We're going to listen to this track called The Sea. This is off of their album, their self-titled album, Father and Gay, which was released in 1970. So this is the band that appeared and was started after Sandy Denny had left Fairport Convention. So that's what we're going to be listening to today. This particular track being suggested by Bob Holtzman, Mick Capewell, Steve Connor, RTW Bike Rider, and Bob Holtzman again. So thank you guys so much for the suggestion. Uh, we've listened to Fairport Convention here on the channel quite a little bit. Not, I almost said quite a bit, but a decent amount. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and listen to uh, this particular track from this album here. Hope you guys are having a lovely one out there. Let's go ahead and set our sails out to the sea. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. Builds up right beneath her, swells, and it comes right back down.
I hope that this doesn't get blocked since Fairport Convention blocks uh, on YouTube. For the past five minutes or so, I just kind of chilled. <laughs> I, just, I was just not really thinking. I was just sailing on the sea, you know? Sometimes the music takes you that way. I mean, a lot of times it does. But when I'm doing a reaction, you know, I, I have to think a little bit. I have to kind of put a little bit of effort into it. This track, I, I, I didn't really do that too much. I just... When it started, after the first minute, I was like, I'm just going to chill with it. I'm not going really, to think about it too much. Sandy, I mean, we've talked about how beautiful her voice is. And in a track like this, it comes across so gentle. It, it's just, you just want to just sit by the shore and listen to her. <laughs> That's all I can think of. You just want to sit there and listen to her. The way that she tells a story, the way that she narrates is beautiful, done with grace. One thing I actually noticed, though. Getting back to my my <laughs> reaction part, uh, Jerry Conway on the drums. So the music has this constant ebb and flow, where it, it, the music will build up. Jerry on the drums will provide some sort of drum fill, and then it'll calm back down. Naturally, this has the natural ebb and flow and the back and forth of the sea. That's that's nice. It has this kind of wavy culture to it. That's good, but. What I noticed most was with Conway is his volume control and his, his grace under pressure, if you will. In the sense of this, this is a very calm natured folk song. So it's kind of energy level is like down here. It's just kind, of, just kind of relaxing, just makes you think, but also makes you kind of gently move like a leaf in the wind. But those moments where the music would come up, just pop up for just a little bit of a moment, were primarily carried by Conway's drums and the way that he would fill and bring in the next section. But what I really liked was that he took a slightly unexpected turn in certain moments. Uh, like I said, great restraint and volume control, specifically in a song like this. You don't want the drums to overpower everything. And a lot of times when he would build up in those fills and the music would build up with him, the guitars and such, when it moved into the next section, you would typically expect the snare to come in, right? You, I don't know, just a random drum fill. Bum, 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 boom, do, do. Do ka, do da da, boom, do do, do ka, right? He doesn't do that. He does that at certain moments, but for the most part, he doesn't do that. What I noticed that he did a lot is he actually went to the hi hat and just the pedal hi hat, not even like hitting it, just stepping down. So I thought that was a really interesting way of replacing something that would be expected and still giving us a little bit of subtlety. In the music rather than going for the uh, typical straightforward okay put in the snare now because it feels that much more powerful and conventional he kept that and he kept us waiting for specific moments to do that and it was just something i noticed amongst the beauty of this track uh specifically the way that he was playing the drums i just i just noticed that do i ever wonder you don't know you'll never follow and i'll never show do you see the water and watch it flow and float an empty shell and you think that I'm hiding from the island, you've a fault in your senses. Can you feel it now? Mm, she's telling him off. Time, what is that? I've no time to care. I've lived for a long while, nearly everywhere. You will be taken, everyone, you ladies and you gentlemen. Fall and listen with your ears upon the paving stone. Is that what you hear? The coming of the sea. So you can, I view this in two ways. One, she's literally speaking and singing from the uh, position and you know personification of the sea itself. Or this could be about a, a rocky relationship. Or a wavy relationship. Sea flows under your doors in London town, and all your defenses are all but broken down. You laugh at me on funny days, but mine's the sleight of hand. Don't you know I'm a joker, a deceiver, and I'm waiting for the land? I think that she's just personifying the sea, and I think she's doing a great job of it. Kind of taking it as, uh, you know, oh, you look at me on these beautiful days, and, you know, yeah, I'm nice, but, you know, give me a little wind, stir me up the right way. <laughs> you're going to be calling me, you're going to nickname me Cat, Cat5. Anyways, let me, <laughs> let me know what you guys thought of the track. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed the music. Uh, come back tomorrow. You don't know what we're doing because I don't know what we're doing. But for now, enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, your morning, your afternoon. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>